To balance this equation, we have C5H9O plus O2. So let's count the atoms up and then balance it. Five carbons, nine hydrogens, and one oxygen, plus these two in the O2. Don't forget those. Three. Product side, one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two plus one. So we have three oxygen atoms. When I look at it, I feel like I first want to balance the carbons, but then I see I have this odd number for the hydrogens. And really, I need to get this to be an even number. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the C5H9O, and that'll give me an even number of hydrogens. So now I have 5 times 2. That'll give me 10 carbons. This 9 times 2, that'll give me 18. And that's good because that's an even number. For the oxygens, I have the 2 times the 1 here plus the two in the oxygen, so I have four. So I feel a little bit better about this now because I could put a 10 in front of the O2, one times 10. The carbons are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So we have two times the 10, that's 20, plus just the one here, so we have 21. That's okay, we can fix the hydrogens, put a nine right here, two times nine, that's 18. And again, we have to update the oxygen atom. So now we have the 2 times 10, 20, plus the 9 times 1. That gives us 29, which is kind of awkward. Since we've left the O2 until last, when we change the coefficient in front of the O2, it won't change the carbons or hydrogens. So let's think of it this way. So let's think of it this way. We have 2 times 1, 2 oxygen atoms. And 2 plus some number, that's going to equal 29. So what is the coefficient we could put in front of here to give us 29? If we put 27 over 2, when we multiply 27 over 2 times 2, that would give us the 27. 2 plus 27 would give us 29. So the coefficient here in front of the O2 is going to be 27 over 2. And this is a balanced equation. These ratios are correct. Some teachers don't like to have the fraction here, but to fix that, you just multiply everything by 2. So 2 times 2, that gives us 4. 2 times the 27 over 2, that would give us 27. The 2s would cancel out. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 9 is 18. So you could have coefficients of 4, 27, 20, and 18. Either way is correct. It's just a question of what your teacher wants to see. This is a challenging equation to balance, and we really had to use kind of this trick down here to figure out what the coefficient on the oxygen would be. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C5H9O plus O2. Thanks for watching.